You just nail it on the first take, but it's overexposed. I don't know if anyone's dealt with that, but that just happened to me, but it's okay. I'm gonna start fresh. So hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Thank you so much for coming back. It is so good to see you. And if you're brand new, thank you so much for stopping by. And this is the video you need if you have been struggling to know what to cook for yourself if you're over being in the kitchen trying to come up with every single meal if you're over spending your whole life savings on postmates and if you're just over it you're over it we've been stuck inside we've been cooking for ourselves and it is a struggle so i decided to create a meal prep resource for you so i wanted to do a what i eat in a day meal prep edition because meal prep has been helping me so much just maintain healthy skin without blowing my brains out and spending a million dollars so not only am i going to take you through my day and show you what i'm eating but i also have a resource for you so my eat to glow meal prep ebook just came out it's 15 dollars, and it has seven delicious when I say delicious, they are absolutely delicious. I'm not just saying that. I did create them, but I've been eating them for over a month and I am obsessed. Delicious meal prep recipes. And these are all gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free. And if you are vegan, there's vegan substitutions for every single one, but majority are plant-based. So hopefully you're intrigued because this work is so beneficial, especially if you've been struggling with your skin right now and I really do want to help you. So watch to the end to pick up all of the little tidbits and tricks and tips and facts that can be helpful plus I wanted to offer you something really special because I just love YouTube so much I love being able to connect with you in long form and I just wanted to hook you up with something kind of special so I'm giving you a free recipe from the meal prep ebook in this video so just stay tuned to pick up on what it is but let's get into it I'm gonna start this journey on voiceover because I don't wanna wake Nate up and it's 6.30 in the morning, but I always start with water. So whether that's cold water or hot water, sometimes I'll even do an herbal tea bag, but water is so essential in the morning, I try to drink a big, huge glass of it and I do about three liters a day total. Then it's time for a little matcha and I absolutely have to have matcha first thing i love it so so much and i use iporo matcha and i'll link everything for you below but it's really high in antioxidants you can tell because the color is so bright green and beautiful and i've tried so many brands of matcha but i just keep coming back to iporo after i add in the matcha powder i add ancient nutrition vanilla collagen it is so creamy and delicious and gives you just enough sweetness and a vanilla flavor so i don't add in any more stevia and i just add water to the mixture and then I use my long matcha whisk, which I will also link because it's so incredible and you don't have to get your hand into your mug. But this whole experience is so tranquil and relaxing and I feel like this matcha kind of daily ceremony just sets me off for a really nice morning. All right, good morning, my loves. Nate is awake so I can finally talk to you, but that's our normal, typical routine. I'm up by six or 6.30, he usually sleeps until like 7.30 or eight, and I just do my best not to be really obnoxious and loud and wake him up, but I've just, had my little matcha which is so so delicious you have to try this recipe and if you want more in-depth matcha instructions i have everything you need to know on the eat to glow highlight on instagram but now we're gonna get into a breakfast this is my favorite meal of the day i personally am a sweet breakfast girl but i have a few savory breakfast recipes because it always shocks me that so many people love savory breakfast so in the eat to glow meal prep ebook i made a smashed falafel breakfast recipe which it could actually be lunch or dinner too but it has a really delicious lemony tahini sauce so if you're a savory breakfast individual we have this option for you but i am personally going with something on the sweet side like i said that's my favorite and i have been loving oat bakes lately okay this is a little bit of a mess but i'll show you inside the fridge just because I've 
pretty much been having this breakfast on repeat for the past month, month and a half as I've been recipe testing it, but it's the berry cacao oat bake. And I just saved the extras in my little zip top container and I wanted to give the biggest thank you to zip top for sponsoring this video. I am obsessed with these containers. This is seriously filling a huge void in my kitchen life, in my Martha Stewart life. These containers are not only just really easy to use because they have this great little zip top, but they are completely non-toxic, they are BPA free, they are lead free, they are phthalate free. And if you don't know this, it is actually pretty shocking and disgusting. All of your classic conventional storage solutions, especially the plastic ones, they leach all of those toxic ingredients into your food. So it's really nice to have something that's super convenient and just like adorable. How cute is this aesthetic? And all stacked up in your fridge, it looks so, so nice. And I absolutely love them. So I actually have a really special discount code for you loves, Celeste15, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. You can click the link below and check these out but I highly, highly, highly recommend. This is one of those purchases that sometimes you're like, I don't know if I need it. I can just use tin foil. I don't know if I need it. I'll just use mason jars. But these are completely worth every single penny you're gonna spend on them. Plus they're so eco-friendly. If you think about how much you spend on foil or plastic wrap or plastic bags over a few years, plus they're terrible for the environment because they're not reusable. So. Even though this is sponsored, I am honestly telling you, I am obsessed with these and you should definitely get some. So let me show you what this looks like out of the container because I will say a brown oat bake doesn't look super appetizing, but the beauty of it is you can hide so much spinach in when you add cacao powder and it makes it look brown and like chocolate. So eat to glow all day and it's really, really delicious. Now I'm gonna go enjoy this masterpiece if I do say so myself and maybe watch a little YouTube. But I did wanna offer a very exclusive free recipe from the ebook on this video. So I'm gonna share the recipe for the berry cacao oat bake in the description below. So definitely tag me if you try to make it. It's really, really easy, really quick. Obviously all the recipes are meal prep, so it just makes your life that much easier. But I hope you enjoy it and I will see you at lunch. Usually lunch is the problem area for a lot of people because they get so busy during the day and they don't know exactly what they're gonna eat. And I was falling victim to this too, but now having meal prep recipes, I always have something ready to go in the fridge. And today having the all the herbs chicken soup and it is so flavorful. It has ginger, it has three different kinds of herbs. It has bone broth. It's so filling and also light enough so that you don't feel like you need to take a nap after lunch. And I do like to add a little spindrift for something sweet and kind of just a novelty. I've really, really been enjoying spindrift. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. It is lunchtime and I'm still wearing my fluffy robe because that's what you get to do when you work from home. I feel very blessed to be able to do that, but I have been productive today. So usually what I do is I'll work out my sweats. I do some work on the couch and then I'll shower, put this on, do some more work and hey, I'm being productive with this robe, so it's totally fine. And this is the best row ever. I will link this below. And I was working on the video that just went up last week. If you didn't catch it, it's the skincare clean out video. It has so many good tips and tricks for how to declutter, recycle, get rid of old skincare products. And I think it's just something that's so, so nice to do 2021 to just get rid of some stuff. But now it is lunchtime and I heated up the all of the herbs chicken soup from the ebook obviously that's what we're talking about today and honestly i've been making this recipe all, all the time all these recipes that i'm doing today i'm not just doing it for the what i eat in a day i actually have been eating these all the time because when you make a delicious huge batch of chicken soup it's just the most convenient and i have a very busy day today of making tiktoks and doing work sometimes my job seems really ridiculous but i really do feel like i'm helping and i'm educating and i really hope that you feel like you're getting some value out of the content that I share and my whole mission in life is to be the resource that I didn't have when I was suffering with my acne the most so even though I'm making TikToks in a bathroom I really hope that this is resonating with someone so like this video if you feel like any of the content I've ever made has touched you or improved your life or made your skin better also leave a comment because I would love to hear it and then it kind of validates me to keep going 
even when this is my reality. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this and have a spin drift because that's what I love and usually just a big bowl of soup keeps me full and I don't need anything else, but I will have a snack later on. Ooh, and I'll also after I eat, I'll show you my supplements. I've got my full Gen Z TikTok look going on. Sweatpants, crop top, hoops, hair back in a claw clip. <laughs> just really trying to be like the kids here. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, oh, I should get some of these like Gen Z trends and try them on and see if they work. I'm 31, so I should just really let that go. But anyways, more importantly, supplements. So I actually take quite a few supplements these days. The more research I do, the more I'm like, I actually need these. And there's a few things that are my non-negotiables that I have to take. And then a few other things that I should take every day, but I'm not super good about. But since I'm making a video, I'm gonna be really good and take it all. Hello, hello, I just got back from hike and I'm coming to you from the bedroom because Nate is out in the kitchen on the Zoom call and I had to like sneak around his screen to try to get my snack. So this is one of my favorite recipes. It's one of the two cycle sinking, seed cycling snacks that you can meal prep and this is the caramel pumpkin parfait. And pretty much it's a mix of chia and flax that you soak overnight with pumpkin and dates blended up with a milk alternative, spices, and it is so, so delicious, filling, and it also really helps to promote hormonal balance, which I think we all need during these stressful times. Okay, this is not flattering light, but I have a Zoom call with some friends in three minutes, and I have to make my nightly martini. This has been my quarantine jam. Usually I'm <clears throat> into wine or tequila, but I'm on a martini kick right now. So all I do is a little bit of olive juice, gin, ice and that's pretty much what a martini is. I do a shot of gin and I like Hendrix, Bombay Sapphire or what's the green one that everyone drinks. It's like a classic grandparent bar cart situation. Mm -hmm, Tanqueray. So I do one of those and high quality gin is very important in a good martini because it's just gin. So I just pour one shot glass into my cute little milk glass shot glass into my cocktail shaker, then I'll do, so funny because I love a blue cheese stuffed olive, even though I don't do dairy because of my skin, but I'll do a blue cheese stuffed olive like these, which I got at Air One, they're so, so good. And a little bit of this juice, but then I normally don't even eat the olive, it's more of just a garnish. So I do, you set the olive aside, you add just a splash of the juice, that's plenty to make it dirty, but I don't like it too dirty because I feel like it just distracts from the gin and it's really, really salty that way. Then, you add a ton of ice. And I think some people add vermouth to the martini, but I always hate it when I get a bartender who makes me one with vermouth. It's just, I mean, sweet vermouth and a dirty martini, like I just don't think that's correct. <laughs> Bring her over here. Pones is waving to say hello. Okay, and you can kind of see this is filled to the top with ice. You try to get the top on and you very vigorously shake it. And you try not to make a weird face, but you always will. Okay, now you pour this into this and sometimes you get a little ooh, too much ice and you take out a few cubes you add in your olive you can use a regular one but the blue cheese stuff is very classy and chic and voila mmm I just taste chic and classy reminds me of the good old days what, like back in 92? I couldn't drink that much. I'm gonna be very honest in this video. I just chatted with some old friends from home. I had a martini, I had a glass of rose. This is Nate's beer. 
am cooking mildly intoxicated and in a perfect world, I would have made the orange tomato soup, but Nate is not interested in having soup for dinner. How do you feel about soup for dinner? It's not real food. <laughs> He's not interested in, in it as real food. And I just set off the fire alarm. Okay, woo! Real what I eat in a day when your girl is mildly drunk. Okay, so I'm making the meatballs from the Eat to Glow meal guide, not the Eat to Glow meal plan, which I've also given a discount to. If you buy one, you get the other for a discount. They're very cheap as is, but I'm making meatballs and I'm also making a bacon shallot green bean situation, which is just gonna be heavenly. <laughs> Ending the night with Ponza. <laughs> I'm going to kneel a bit before you can even get out of Malaysia. <laughs> 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 <laughs>